All right. Now we're doing Freight Code Camp, JavaScript Algorithms and Data Structures Beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 83. All right. So the value of the current weapon variable corresponds to an index in the weapons array. The player starts with a stick since current weapon starts at zero and weapons at zero is the stick weapon. All right. So let's go prove that real quick. Current weapons, current weapon, weapons. That's what we're looking for. All right. So the first thing we hit is weapons right here. So we see it's got index one right here, which is the stick index two, which is the dagger three, which is claw hammer and four, which is sword. OK, and we come up here, we see current weapon is zero. So let's come down here and do a little visualization, right? So we could say something like this right now, weapons, which is that array with the uh, objects in it, weapons at current weapon, because current weapon is zero is the same as saying weapon, whoops, it's weapons, is the same as saying weapons at zero, which is the same as saying the object with all that stuff about stick in it, all right? So now that we've established that or reestablished whatever the case is, uh, in the buy weapon function, we're going to use compound assignment to add one to current weapon. And that's going to be the user buying the next weapon in the weapons array. Right. So right after this, what we're going to do is say current weapon. Plus equals one. All right. And when we do that, let's take this right here. Now, what it looks like is weapons at one. So it's iterating through that. Uh, it's iterating through the weapons array and now it's dagger, right? So it goes from stick to dagger just like that. Whenever we say weapons at current weapon, right? Hopefully that makes sense. Let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 84 and we'll see you next time.